Hey, my Nikki Boos, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Also, if you are new here, then you're probably thinking I am completely crazy um, because of the way that I look right now. Well, let me introduce you to what goes on over here. On this channel, I can't speak for anybody else's channel, but on this channel, we keep it 100% real, okay? If my house is messed up because it is a very lived-in space, that's just what it is. We're not going to fake it as if my stuff is a uh, showroom floor because sometimes it's not um my kitchen may be a little messed up as it is right now slightly driving me crazy because it's not all that clean but guess what this is real life this is my kitchen and i have to get dinner started and then um i will uh, have kids do chores around here so we all have a job to do i cook they clean okay Sample straight to the point, um, but right now I don't like them in my way when I'm doing my thing So we're about to get it in you and I in this kitchen cooking this food and I don't have a title For what I'm making because it's some stuff that I pretty much just came up with um, You won't see the glam squad on this uh, channel Sometimes I'm in a scarf. I'm in a scarf and an ugly ripped up house dress Welcome to my world. This is my life. This is my real life. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I have today, y'all, um, some, okay, so let me, let me explain what's happening. I didn't know what I was going to cook for dinner. Uh, I am not leaving the home. I have so much stuff to do. Um, we got some things delivered. Um, we got some new things in the home that needs to be put up, placed here, packing up Christmas stuff, putting all that stuff away. And yes, it's. January and I'm still putting away Christmas stuff. It's mid January. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is My real life as I stated um, I'm also still kind of unpacking and trying to organize things in my bedroom um, But you guys may not know My house that I live in right now is for sale. So therefore I'm feeling kind of like, ugh, I don't know if I should really be getting comfortable unpacking, and, but whatever. So let's start with what I found in the freezer. I cooked chicken breast, and I don't know if I'm the only person that does this. Um, you know, you cook your chicken and then freeze it. I had this in there, and then I also found some Genio Italian style turkey sausage never had these before so i decided to combine the two because this is not enough meat for us all of us so i'm going to combine the two i'm going to chop this up and i'm going to ground this and i decided to make a pasta i don't know what to call it it's not spaghetti it's some kind of pasta so i also had in the house i literally just took everything that i already had and i have some no yolk noodles y'all see which noodle that is those little curly ones and i'm like hey meat pasta a pasta so now i need some kind of sauce so this is what i came up with i have some hunts pasta sauce for cheese sauce um i'm not going to use my ragu like i would use for spaghetti because i don't want this very saucy like spaghetti so i'm going to use this and then I love diced tomatoes. And this one um, has uh, basil, garlic, and oregano, which are my favorite flavors. So I'm going to use this. And we just going to get this meat going. And then we're going to boil these noodles, get this pasta going. And I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes. Me, I had 
a taste for some smoked neck bones. So I am about to make myself some smoked neck bones and rice. Um, and I probably want, I'm gonna taste the pasta, but I just didn't want pasta. So that's gonna be my meal. That will be going in the pressure cooker. So we got some cooking to do. Let's get to it. Because the turkey is raw and the chicken is already cooked, I'm going to start by grounding this turkey. We're going to start there first. It smells good. It actually smells like Italian sausage. I've never had this before. So it's interesting to taste it. I'm assuming it's just ground turkey with all of the Italian sausage flavors but it does smell like Italian sausage so we just gonna ground this up before we make our little sauce to top on top of our pasta and while that is simmering I am gonna need to cut up the chicken breast The sausages are doing pretty well. I'm really shocked at the amount of grease that it made on its own with turkey. Hmm. Not too bad. So I won't add the chicken in here until this meat is completely done. And the reason for that is because... The reason for that is because um, the chicken is already cooked and it was cooked completely all the way to the temperature of 175 so I won't add that until this is done. So in the meantime what we're going to do next is get the pasta boiling because we can start that right now. Okay, water boiling and the uh, Italian turkey sausage is good. It is now ready, so let me try and taste it. Mmm, that's good. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken so the chicken can grab some of that Italian flavor. I did not strain the turkey. I'm going to use those flavors. I'm going to leave it because it's not like greasy like ground beef or anything like that. So I am going to leave it just the way it is. This might not be so bad. So I cut up an onion and add that as well. And that's just for flavor. To this meat, I'm going to add a nice amount of Italian seasoning. We want all of our Italian flavors to robust out of this little sauce we're making. I'm 
Oh, that water is boiling. I'm going to add in my noodles. To give my noodles some flavor, I'm going to add some bouillon. Flavor those noodles. Next, I'm going to add in the four cheese pasta sauce, and I am going to use the whole thing. Give that a little mix. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. But we are about to find out, figure, you can't go wrong with a little sauce and some seasoning. So I'm trying to coat all of the meat with the sauce before I add my tomato. See, this is a perfect amount of sauce. I don't want it too saucy going to defeat the purpose of it not being like a spaghetti. I am not straining anything. So when I add these tomatoes, which is next, I'm not going to strain it. I'm going to pour it all in as well. That will also help to thin out the uh, sauce a little bit and then if you guys watch my vlogs uh, my live videos you know that the kids and I made some pizza from scratch so I still have so much of the um, pizza sauce left and who's, who's wasting food? Not I. We're going to pour that on in as well. It's probably going to act as a tomato paste, but that's fine. Fine by me. Now, once I taste this, if I don't feel like it tastes delicious, I'm going to go in and season it real good. And I already know that's going to give it its life. I'm also going to sneak a little bit of cheese inside and then top it with some mozzarella cheese. So, mmm. Stay tuned for that. So, I'm going to heat this sauce because I need it as thin as possible. So, I'm going to let it get hot. And I'll be back. looks like those noodles are done I don't even need to taste take them out I can tell by the size so I'm gonna strain those and I will begin plating so you guys can see what it came out to be first things first is pasta pasta might look a little red cuz I'm using this hang spoon and I'm around with that this is not a restaurant this is my home my family and this is cool just like this okay next up is our nice little creation and i'm just gonna drop it right on top in the middle and they can eat it however they want Mm. 
I think that looks so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Next, I'm gonna top it off with mozzarella cheese. And it's hot, so I'm gonna let that mozzarella cheese do its thing, and then I'll be back and let you guys see what it looks like after it melts. Just tasting first, my creation. Excuse me. It'll be. This is to get. I'm trying to get all of it. Yep, to give it a fair taste. Spaghetti. It's not like spaghetti. No, I'm not. Like spaghetti with chicken. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, okay, it's Coco turn. It's Where you from? Okay. Blow it, blow it. See, it's hot. So, what it tastes like? It's good. It's good. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Okay guys, this is it. Once it's done, cheese is all melted. I don't know, it kind of looks like a cheese pizza on a on noodles, I don't know. But, um, Jazz said it was good, Coco said it was good. I felt like it was good too. And so yeah, that's dinner. Over here in our young pressure cooker, we have nothing but smoked net bones and onions and, um, I will do my rice separately. I do not put it in here. I'm making some brown minute rice. <laughs>